Dear Moluka Mati Drummond, UN Independent Expert on the Enjoyment of Human Rights by Persons with Albanism. Dear ambassadors, distinguished guests, gentle ladies and gentlemen, first of all, on behalf of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, I would like to welcome you all to the African capital city, Addis Ababa, and the land of origins, as it's been mentioned by Dr. Jen, Ethiopia which is your second home. It's indeed a great pleasure and an honor for me to be here amongst you to give an official opening remarks of this very important high-level event dedicated on the Pan-African Learning Symposium on Violence Prevention. I would also like to congratulate the African Child Forum, Policy Forum, and the African Partnership to End Violence Against Children for organizing this important learning symposium. Please join me thanking the two organizations. <laughs> violence against children in this regard has globally received a considerable attention since it is adversely affecting child's physical and mental health and consequently weakening the ability to learn and socialize that may ultimately, of course, devastate the proper transition to adulthood. The agenda requires concerted effort and political commitment due to its scope and depths. Human generation continuity naturally depends on psychosocial development and well-being of children. To safeguard the overall child development in human society is ensuring existence of humanity and advancement of social being. Violation against the rights of children, on the other hand, hampers the successful achievement of relay occurring in the chain of generations. Moreover, the outcome of prevention and protection measures in the process of growth and development of children is beyond human rights, and rather it is the survival and continuity of human generation. Therefore, Understanding the violation against children in its comprehensive form and act collectively could lead towards to the achievement of multifaceted socioeconomic benefit of children with commitment and respect of human rights and ultimately eradicating poverty. With due consideration of these powerful conceptual frameworks, the United Nations Assembly declared the child, by reason of his or her physical and mental immaturity, needs special safeguards and care, including appropriate legal protection before as well as after birth. The declaration has demonstrated clearly that the child should live in a spirit of peace dignity, tolerance, freedom, equality, and solidarity. As reflected in the aspiration of the AU Agenda 2063, on the other hand, a prosperous Africa based on inclusive growth and sustainable development is one of the ultimate impact of continental agenda. Prosperity is therefore about creating an environment where persons are able to reach their full potential through inclusive society and empowering people, which demonstrates the need of due consideration to children. 
countries' commitments to re respect the rights of children normally begin with system development, mainly adoption of national policies and strategies, legislations, programs, projects, operational plans, including the domestication and ratification of the global and re regional instruments. Honorable ministers, distinguished guests, dear participants. Ethiopia is the second most populous country in sub-Sahara Africa, with majority of population includes over 46% of children. Preventing violence against children and protecting victims of this group is obligatory to the people and the government of Ethiopia. To address the child rights, therefore, Ethiopia has in place the relevant national policies and instruments as well. As it has been mentioned earlier, it's not enough only to have instruments, international or regional instruments, but we need also to work on the implementation as well. Not only that, but also as member states of United States, United Nations and African Union, it has domesticated the appropriate UN and AU instruments of human rights and rights of children. In connection to this, I would like to share with you the experience of Ethiopia and some of fundamental national instruments in enforcement. I'm not going to only mention in our experience, but I'm going to also mention our challenges. Excellencies, gentle ladies, gentlemen, the national and domesticated instruments of Ethiopia has contributed in one way or another in the mitigation of the child right abuse. The experience of my government in this regard is immense but to mention some, the first is our initiative to develop a comprehensive national plan of action on ending violence against women and children from 2021 to 2026. This is a multi-sectoral initiative led by the National Interministerial Body on Violence Against Children which my ministry call it with the Ministry of Justice. The doc document has a special emphasis on violence prevention and it is a structured along with the global accept globally accepted violence prevention framework. The draft document is currently under review by senior management of the interministerial body. In terms of education, primary education is free to all citizens and policy is making primary education compulsory to all children of school age to attend school. Thus, the primary education growth enrollment rate is increasing. With the special support of financing and capacity building to emerging regions, the regional and Gender disparities in terms of attendance and enrollment in education rate is reducing. Ethiopia is ensuring educational access to internally displaced children due to human-made and natural disasters, as well as refugee children as well. In terms of health, just to mention a few, a maternal mortality rate and child mortality rate are reducing. The health extension workers are registering the newborn in rural areas, which is contributing to have clear data of children to prevent child rights violation. Overall improvement of child health is increasing through implementation of the prevention best health policy and strategy. Nationally, health infrastructure expansion has its own impact for the improvement of child rights. Concerning 
different achievements, just to mention few. The daycare center established in the public offices are ensuring the well-being of children. The rural and urban social safety net program, which is a flagship program of social protection, are benefiting poor households and children. Our effort to increase coverage of social protection, investing in social protection for children is an effective and productive approach for tackling and underlining drivers of violence against children, including poverty. Related to this, the government of Ethiopia has increased its resources to ensure families have the means to care of their children and avoid family separation. In addition, establishment of national child parliament and active participation of children in child parliament in all regions, states, is enhancing the freedom of expression of children. The school platforms are also playing the complementary role in exercising the freedom of expression of children as well. Children are also involving in development of child policy, educational roadmap, and national and regional budget hearings, and participating in regular national and regional parliament sessions. Efforts taking place to prohibit corporal punishment of children in schools is fruitful with practitioners of parents' teachers association. Children with disabilities are also enjoying their full spectrum of rights of reduced discrimination. The government efforts to prevent child labor is also progressing. The government of Ethiopia is combating trafficking of children by putting in place legal framework and awareness creation. And as a protective measure, uh, just to prevent children and women from sexual exploitation and abuse, we are developing a national sex offenders registry digital system to ensure law enforcement accordingly. In 2020, there were more than 800,000 refugees and asylum seekers in Ethiopia. As a host country, Ethiopia is providing education to school-age refugee children. Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear participants. As I have mentioned, these are few of the activities and the achievements that we are undertaking. But all efforts made and achievements were not without challenge. Obviously, challenges are persisting and requiring continuous follow-up and evaluation to take necessary measures, which is customary approach in the development process. Violence against children has been one of the biggest child protection concerns facing us a continent which has also been made even more complicated by armed conflicts and the COVID-19 pandemic. And Ethiopia is not an exception. As it has been mentioned by Mama Fatim, we still struggle with child marriage, FGM, and child labor. Sexual abuse and exploitation has been remaining our challenge especially following the conflict in the northern part of Ethiopia and drought-affected areas as well. Therefore, I strongly believe that this symposium can consolidate the continental experience and will come out with the lessons and the strategic directions for the African context. Like other African countries in our content, continent, Ethiopia struggles with weak enforcement and implementation of existing policy frameworks. 
We also understand that we need to greatly improve our understanding of intrasectoral collaboration and coordination in our efforts to comprehensively prevent and respond to violence against children. Our social welfare workers or workforce is still not well developed. We hope this symposium will give all of us with a great opportunity to learn from one another on how we can create an environment which is safe and secure for our children. Honorable ministers, distinguished guests, the obligation of creating a continent that is safe for its children lies on our shoulders. And it is an obligation that carries with, with it a sense of urgency. It's all for, it is for all of us to act in a decisive manner to prevent violence against children in all its forms and in all settings. Finally, I would like to thank you for organizing this important symposium once again, and I wish you a fruitful deliberations to you all. God bless Ethiopia, God bless Africa, God bless you all. Thank you very much. <laughs>